Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. In the last episode we uh, we came south, we did a, a little uh, mission for Merlin and then we came north and we did the first of our proper plot missions following Symes. Uh, people have headed back to base now on the Manticore and they are resting up because they are pretty damn tired. Ooh, we've got new recruits available, let's have a look. A close courses biochemist resourceful assault. Uh, yes, I am going to hire you. Close quarters specialism means we can definitely turn you into some kind of massive mecha destruction. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a no-brainer. Uh, you are coming on board. We've got space for you on the ship. So we'll put you straight in. In terms of actual equipment, uh, there's nothing we can really give you, so we're going to have to manufacture you a gun. We'll queue up an Ares for now. It's a bit of a shame. I would like to have laser weapons already, but it's just, just not a thing. an interesting idea. We could uh, potentially queue up an independent machine gun just for something a little bit more bursty than the auto cannon, because it can do in theory 350 damage. It's just yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to get one. We might come to regret that in the future. We'll have to see. Uh, over here, I wanted to double check, 619, that's what we're doing for Hilda. Come join the actual party. We're going to have to get you some armour at some point. But for the moment, we can give you a grenade, and that'll probably have to do... Uh, but regardless, welcome to the team. I suppose we could also give you a pistol, but you're not proficient in them, so it's just not really going to be worth it. It is worth us waiting until the rest of the team is properly rested. Research complete. And there is our laser pistol research. That's pretty huge. Uh, so we've got that queued up, we've got that queued up. It would be really expensive to get them some armour. Leg armor makes sense for the extra speed, if nothing else. And probably the sniper helmet for extra accuracy. And there goes all of our resources again. We'll do some trading as we push up. Uh, once the team's rested, I'm going to actually send them up around here uh, to have a look at... Uh, at these before we go on to bring the pure into the fight. Okay, they're, they're rested up enough. We've got the Banshee leg armor so we can go and put that on Millie. Pretty nice, extra stealth, extra accuracy, no extra perception, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, do I want to give you a gun that you're not proficient in? I suppose it means you could, in theory, do something as like a last resort. But it is very much a last resort. Actually, stop off. Stop off here and see if they've got anything else for trading yet. Oh, they do. That's good. We've already blown through most of our resources, which is Never a great place to be, but let's uh, let's have a look around and see research what complete. there is. Hey. Our research is going to start coming in from here on. Uh, that extra uh, research place that we've got is actually going to make a pretty big difference. Maybe I should move the dimers up, actually. Yeah, let's, let's get the dimers first. 
And let's actually not manufacture an Aries. Means we're going to be without a weapon for a little bit longer, but uh, with heavy weapon proficiency, actually. If we do a mission, we get a few experience. We can use this and then we can give them the independent gun. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if that's a good plan. But it's a plan. Or over on Elki we can give this. And then pull the auto cannon across instead. Effective range is only 11 though. It's, it's very much a getting close and use it kind of gun. And it weighs a ton. Fungus Humongous Exploration Site Our operatives have encountered a new Jericho scientific expedition. The expedition has discovered a unique mutation of Philobolus crystallinus in an abandoned commune's composting facility. The individual fungi are almost 20 times as large as the unmutated variety. When expelling spores, they do so with enough force to penetrate armor. That's dangerous. Uh, they've begun preparations for burning the facility. Uh, so, the question is, who do we want to really be friends with? Petitioning to study at first isn't going to really offend anyone. Sinedrin will like us for it. It's just going to take a little bit of tech. Well, or Sinedrin won't even like us, but uh, we will get research from this. So while New Jericho disapproves of allowing the fungi to continue existing, even for a limited time period, they accede to our demands. The data collected by our operatives proves to be highly interesting and potentially useful in our own research, which is about the laser rifle. So how better to target fungi with lasers? That's what I'm assuming we're researching. Another Sinedrian haven. We are completely surrounded by Sinedrian. In terms of diplomacy, it's a good thing that they're friends with us. Really it is. Another empty exploration site. That's not good. Research complete. This is good, however. Right, I want to get a couple of Dimas on the go. We'll get the uh, the helmet finished first, because that's only two hours away. I don't mind about your hair, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to wear at least a helmet if you're going to come out on a mission. Can't have you getting shot in the head and killed before you've had a chance to do anything. And there is our third research lab. So we're really going to start ploughing on with our research, which is pretty good, actually. I am worried we've not found more things to do, like scavenging sites and, and the like. Our operators are set down outside a large abandoned building. It appears to have been a temple or church of some kind. And inside there are some dead bodies, still sitting in chairs and on the floor. There's a decayed corpse at the front, dressed in battered robes. Some sort of priest uh, definitely searched the site. This unpleasant work. The place still smells of death and there's a sense of violation of our presence disturbing the peace of the dead, but we get materials and food, so I don't want to know who had snacks in their back pocket, but we'll certainly take them. We could push on and do Prisoner of Ice. We are finding more sites that's leading us into North America, which is really good for us. It is taking us away from the mist, so if we're going to do that, I'd swing up and round this way and then come back down to rest. And that's exactly why. Alright. To the rescue. It looks like they're going to win, but we definitely want to get in there and help out. We'll get reputation for it. Hey. And our gun is finished. So, 
Now that you are getting a gun you can actually use. What about that? Uh, do you want extra ammo for it? It's, it's probably worth us having extra ammo for it. I would like to have more of these. Uh, and I suppose we've got enough materials that we could make another after the other. And transition everyone across. I like that as an idea. All right, let's uh, let's get in and try and save the day. This is a little low on ammo, so let's get it reloaded. This is also a little low on ammo. Tiny bit low, not really. Cool, everyone is ready to go in. And people were at like 39 stamina. I see it's put that uh, stamina loss distributed amongst them. That's very interesting, I wasn't expecting that. with most things. Let's survey what we have first. We've got a Triton Strangler over here who's not really going to do much in terms of threat. We're looking to protect the structures and I don't see any defenders right now. That doesn't mean they're not there. They could be hiding. Well, hiding? Lying in ambush. That's what we say. We don't say hiding. We say lying in ambush. Really should uh, swap Millie's equipment over, but I'll do that another time. Let's have a look at the shot. Ready to engage. Because getting an opening shot on this guy would be pretty handy, but not from there. That's what I'm seeing. I'm here. And you're in a worse place. Let's uh pull across slightly and get different eyes. Okay, that's not a bad shot. We'll quick aim that. Because the more of them we take out early, the better it's going to be for us. Shot him in the shield. That's uh, not what we wanted, but not much we can do about it. Okay, Hilda, can we get you in a position to do something worthwhile? Here I come. Now the, the Sneedrian laser rifle is significantly more accurate than the Ares, so that's that's like a shot that could work. And yeah, it's potentially using up some materials, but we've got plenty of ammo for it. This, on the other hand, is probably not going to be a smart plan, but we'll have it. Yeah. Let's just get in closer. Try and encourage them to come to us and die in a hail of uh, bullets. Ready to engage. No better, but we might be able to pull across and have a look. Risky, risky. We might shoot Felix, so let's give that a hard pass. And over here, Elki. We'll just bring you Sprinting. forwards. I don't mind being out in the open at the moment because they're unlikely to have many weapons, if any. Ready to contribute. And clearly there's some defenders with crossbows. They're better shots than me, that's for certain. 
Well, actually, maybe I spoke too soon. That's not good. We need to get in and protect that quickly. Actually has a gun. This thing is not going to last another turn. It might not even last this turn, depending on how many they bring in. Okay, so ready. You are obviously a point of concern. You're a point of concern. No one else really is at the moment. Yeah, let's try to wretch. Silent Echo spawn this pain chameleon. Pain chameleon is gonna be annoying. Ready for action. I'm prepared. We're not really close enough to Ready, willing, and able. Hits on it. We could double run in and get shots on it, but this guy's going to come around and he is going to shoot at us. The rest, I think they're going to focus on what they're doing rather than coming in. So it's not not the worst idea. It just doesn't feel like a good idea. As for the rest, they are far enough away that it's it's not really that much of an issue. If I get Felix here to open the door. Ready. We can step round and get a shot. Comes online. Let's have a look and see what that shot looks like before we commit All to it. I need is a clear oh yeah, we shot. can we can definitely make that. So quick aim. Disabled his arm, disabled his head. Now he's still in there. Fortunately, in just a place that we might not be able to to see and shoot. So yeah, he's literally just by that window. Might get him. If we get someone in to reveal him, that'll be probably better for us. I'm prepared. So yeah, if I dash dash. I see another one. Ready, willing, and able. Then you can not really step in and do it. That's annoying. I I would love you to be able to lean around that corner. We can bash him once. That's not really gonna do much though. 32 out of 90. Right, let's uh let's see if we can get someone else to take him out. What's the plan? I'm prepared. Then we can step back into a safer position. Yeah, that's a good enough shot. Straight between the soldiers. Yeah, this, this could work for us. We step you into cover here. This guy's going to be moving around. He might come down this way. He might come around this way. But whichever way he goes, we'll have two assaults ready to react to him. Need a better position. We can 
do some Overwatch to I'm here. pick up the other guy. And the rest of the team, we, we just need to get closer. Action. There's There's not really anything else to say about that. With Vigamin, they'll be able to fight. <clears throat> we could also head across and try, uh, try and grab that defender, but I think moving in will naturally take us closer to these guys, and that's, that's fine. But I really want to get our new recruit some some kills, or at least some, some damage. Uh, yeah, go on Overwatch like that, just in case Area the Triton three. comes through. We'll see what they do. Just like we discussed. From each according to their abilities. So they're going to destroy this. Yeah, saw that coming. So this guy's free to come and fight us. That's a brilliant angle for me to take him out. This thing's going to last a little bit longer. Oh, huh, and he's stepped out quite nicely. Thank you for that, good sir. That is not a terrible shot on this guy. Alright, so... I'm here. Newbie, who do you want to go after? The shield bearer, we could get you blasting the pincer off. I think going after this triton is probably a better option. Standing by. We get you taking the shield off. And you could finish it off. Firing targets. So that's worked quite nicely. So there's still two left. Probably should set up an overwatch for this guy coming out. But uh, you, we might be able to do something a little bit smarter. When I say smarter, I mean just like actually get some damage on you. How much health have you got? 210. No choice but to keep going. It smells like trouble. Step in and have a look. It's not bad. Take out the pincer, you've got no real combat. Right, pincer on gone. He's quite damaged. Ready. Let's uh, Ooh, choices, choices. Ready, willing, and able. We can overwatch for two. So what we could do is we could get our snipers in and watch for this guy moving. Rolling out. Like that. Area covered. Which means you might need to be baked. Ready, willing, and able. Here I am. Yeah, if you come Let's here. And we bring you up Attempting like this. To and do an overwatch like this. I'm really relying on this uh, Triton coming out of that door. Ready to Can engage. we get a kill on this guy? We don't really need to. It's a waste of ammo. We're going to get the same experience regardless. So let's not let us let's set up for a slightly different overwatch like this. Nothing's getting past me. I'll try to get there in one piece. Right. 
think this is as good as it's going to get. Hey, there's the infiltrator. Oh, don't do that. Now they're going to go after you. Now the infiltrator's going to be in trouble. And it's not really giving us any benefit either. That's alright, we can still still step in and hunt him down. So, Hilda. Yeah. Get to here and I think we'll take control of the Sinedrian guys. Let me see. Need him to stand up properly. That'll do. Just like target practice. And actually, with the uh, with the combination of the pistols and the uh, the crossbow, this Triton is not going to last long. Uh, it's worth us stepping in, just so we have that better accuracy. Oh, yeah. uh, and he will just, uh, well, bleed out. So what we'll do Channel open. is we'll claim the other guy, and seeing as you got shot, we'll allow you to beat him to a bloody pulp. And that finishes that. Lovely. No injuries, a good amount of experience for Hilda, and Millie gets up to level three. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, the Haven has been saved. We have restocked our materials quite a bit. Ooh, and now we get to choose some some options. Synedrian aircraft technology is probably worth us doing if we're not going to be stealing from Synedrian. Having the ability to move around quickly is going to be kind of vital. It does mean we're going to need to research it. But beyond that, let's have a look. Yeah. So how long is that going to take? Nine hours. That's really not much. Uh, we'll still do the, the Chiron autopsy first. And then we'll do that straight after. These other bits I don't care so much about. Maybe the nuclear fusion technology. But it will come when it comes and we're not, we're not low on power. Uh, now we do have a nest over here that we want to clear. Oh brilliant. And it will even tell us how people are going to like us more. Well, we're definitely going to have to go in and do that. Let's send the team across and I'll very quickly put Millie's upgrade in and actually swap Millie's weapon over. There we go. Are we going to give you Bombardier now? Well, we can. Or we could save up the skill points ready to cross class. Although you're probably going to be cross classed into some kind of thief, so it's not going to be urgent for that. I mean, we're not, we're not going to get mounted weapons for a while, so none of it's really that urgent, is it? Just having a look and seeing what we could potentially give people. Yeah, let's, let's give you Strongman Felix. Whether we want to give that massive gun or not, I don't know. We'll still need to decide that and you don't have enough yet Hilda for for that close quarters specialist but overall that, that was pretty good for a first outing I think you did well research complete our autopsy research is done okay now the team is ready to head in for the nest
Now we're definitely not going to have the speed from the old campaign to be able to just blitz through, but let's, uh, let's see if we can still do this efficiently. So I kind of feel like we need to be scouting in carefully. Repositioning. Okay, got some potential avenues to explore. Let's get Maria moving up around. Here I am. Let's do this. So this corner, nothing. There's probably something over there. There might be something over this way as well. Let's send Hilda down this way. Yeah, actually, we'll send Amina and we'll split the team effectively. Felix goes this way. Let's go. And Millie can come round this way. Moving in quick. So two teams of three. <laughs> A little bit closer than I expected, but I'm sure we can make that work. Take them out safely. Maybe not if there's two of them. Almost certainly not a face three of them. <clears throat> right. I'm here. So what we can do is step across and do some sniper support. Now the other thing that we could have done it would be like really try and focus on uh, actually this guy if we take out his pincer that might be him done this one we could just take out with a sniper shot or not quite oh yeah he's going to bleed out that's fine so you need to lose your pincer. Which can happen like that, especially with a quick aim. Because we're looking to do this efficiently. We don't really care about killing these guys. Nice! Acquiring target. So yeah, he can't spit. He's not a threat. This guy's going to bleed out. So, onto the Triton. I don't mind stepping in in order to get a decent angle to shoot at him. Ready to engage. But we're going to have to step back out. I know, Amos, I know. Ah, uh, damn, and getting, getting in, we can get a sniper shot from here. That might be enough to make it Moving work. To position. If not, we're going to have to do it with more pistol fun. Oh yeah, that works. So he's going to bleed out as well. The team is safe. Ready. You guys can continue pushing forwards. Rolling out. What I'd really like I'm on the move. is to be able to see around this little corner bit. I'll be right there. Okay, one egg, and this is where the first one is gonna be, so we can actually start 
moving in. There it is. Kind of beautiful in a way. In a very weird and freaky way. Let's make this happen! So that just leaves Elki with stuff to do. I mean, there's still a chance there's going to be something over here, so let's... I've got to be quick! Let's bring Elki up so that we're in a position to move in. We can't actually get through that. <laughs> yeah, you just keep applying your shield, mate. Ooh, that's potentially painful. <laughs> I think he missed. I don't think I've ever seen the miss with a spit like that. Well, a heavy blast will almost certainly take both of these out, not at the same time, but we can at least get Elki a kill. Let's go for the back one, because that's going to be a bit harder to... I say go for the back one, maybe we can get both of them. No, let's, let's not be greedy. Enemy down! Over here. I'm here. If we get Hilda into here, we're going to be able to start on the big thing. Let me see. It will take at least two full volleys, so let's get both of the guys in. Moving in quick. And they'll be able to do that next turn. So that means you are next on our questioning list. What a kill. Doesn't need to be spectacular, it just needs to take him out. And that gives a bit more visibility around that point. Sprinting. The rest of the team <coughs> will uh, we'll just move around and uh, put them in supporting positions. And just in case something does come around this corner, go on Overwatch. But I think it's just going to be this uh, nest destruction. If we can just get that spawnery down, that'll be perfect. Aim for the torso, I think. Hostile the head does feel alive. bigger, but the way it moves around, it's not guaranteed. Whereas there's this lovely little lock in the middle. I can make a difference. And then we can get Hilda to do the same. Looking for an angle. Got Acquiring you. targets. Problem solved. Okay, that wasn't the only one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My uh, my lungs have decided that they're going to play up a little bit this morning. I think it's because I need a coffee. That's that's normally my excuse. Yeah, I should be able to see into that by now. That's what's our plan? Bad fog of war. <clears throat> Let's do this. Cool. There is the other one. Let's uh, pull across. Target located. Get ourselves in a position to be able to take it out next turn. Ready for action. There's really not much else we can do down here. So we'll just pull Amino up, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Luckily this thing hasn't woken up. Sorry mate, you're a bit late. You have applied poison on us, but... 
But we're still going to take this thing out. But definitely going for the head. Enemy hit. Do that again. And then we can finish it off with our sniper. What's our plan? Uh, the plan is Acquiring target. to get this thing gone. Lovely. We have our first two people who are going to get call signs. A little bit of damage right at the end there from that spit ahead. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it didn't stop us from finishing the mission. And everyone knows that once you're done with the mission, you can just have people leave the poison behind on the floor. Pandora Nest has been neutralized. Everyone likes us a little bit more. You seem to be genuinely on our side, and everyone here at Synedrion really appreciates that. Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project, not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because we've had some pretty terrible experiences that we'd prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrion, so my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. I mean, that sounds like they're begging for money. That's the kind of thing that people who beg would say. At this moment, we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology, or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Uh, we're going to lean in towards mist repellers. I think mist repellers are going to be kind of vital for trying to stave off the uh, human census degradation over time. Zara will be pleased to hear that. <coughs> she is one of the most passionate advocates of, well, some people would say the original values of Synedrion. But it's hardly that simple. She's part of a loose coalition called the Polyphonic Tendency which advocates solutions that reject all hierarchies, all forms of domination. Nikolai, on the other hand... Oh dear, I'm involving you in Synedrion drama, aren't I? Yes, you are. My apologies. Good luck with the mission. Cool, so this gives us a Synedrion diplomatic mission. Uh, we have to spend some resources, but we got more than enough uh, recently that that's not going to be a problem. And we've actually got uh, three level ups to do. Uh, I'll do them at the start of next episode. I'm afraid we have actually run out of time for today. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you've enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.